Hey Troops, John just made it back with my reaction and breakdown of the new Star Wars Battlefront reveal trailer. So recently, in the last week or so, uh, there have been so many trailers dropped. We had the second trailer for Episode 7, we had obviously of course the new Battlefront trailer as well as the Season 2 of Rebels trailer, which hopefully we'll be doing a reaction breakdown later today, but no promises whatsoever. Uh, the reason I want to, to do two videos today is mainly because I missed last Saturday's video, and, and for that I am sorry, I put an update of it saying why I couldn't, but as I say, I did this before and it was difficult because I didn't have any screen recording software, so I had to try and link it up myself in editing, it was difficult, just so I say, but yeah. But anyway, hopefully I'm not too late and hopefully you don't mind, but I'm doing it now for the new Battlefront reveal trailer. Also, the new one, me, I mean, really I just mean the first one, because, I mean, we did get this 20 second to 30 second sort of little teaser trailer, but that wasn't anything too, too special, it was just like a little thing on half, you may have seen it before. Uh, it's not really that too special, it's more just a wow for the graphics, really, which is actually pretty common from these sort of days, but compared to the old Battlefront, the graphics haven't improved, as I'll talk about more later. But yeah, so simply I'll be doing a reaction and breakdown of this trailer. Um, I've done it before, but I'll try to have a still genuine reaction, and it is a pretty cool trailer, just saying it right off the bat. Hopefully I'll be getting this game. Will I be um, doing a gameplay? That's uh, that's iffy, because I've heard you do need networks. Some people say these days you don't need networks anymore. I don't know. I've been approached by the networks, but some I've accepted, some I haven't. Yeah. It's just a whole big deal. Hopefully when this game comes out in November this year, I will be able to do a gameplay of it. Um, if I do, it'll probably be my second channel, maybe this channel, I don't know. But even so, that's more for another time because, you know, that's a while away. But yeah, so that is more or less it. This is a really, really cool trailer. I cannot wait to do it. Um, and I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it right now. Alright, begin. Of course, we've got Star Show in the air. Very, very cool. The graphics really are one of the biggest parts of this. Because, of course, it is like, you know, a new game. You know? I've got Endor. Oh, that's sick. That is really cool. And straight into the action. And of course, you know, you've got another. I'm not sure if you saw him, but you'll see him more later. And of course, that's Donald Jones with the terrible armor. <laughs> oh, got girl Rebel Trooper. Never seen one of those. <laughs> Never seen a girl, period. That's very cool. I love the way that like, they sort of move with the speeder, like they duck down between logs and stuff. Oh, that's cool. If you can shoot the guy off the scout, um, off the speeder, that'd be cool in itself. Ah, oh, I hope you can drive um, the ATS thing and stuff. Oh, oh, and this bit is cool. Oh, doesn't that just remind you of Halo though? You know, like with the Fable Shield. That is so sick. And it's ah, oh, that that entire thing. If you can do that, genuinely, that is cool. And I love the fact you see um, more of characters we've seen in the films, but not as much. Like Nub Nub, I think his name is. Whatever. Oh God, you've got the AT AT. Very cool. Oh, sick. Although I think it, wouldn't it be kind of odd to put an AT AT on Endor? Just because, logically, they're so big, like, they're hard to move out. <gasps> oh, that is cool! That is cool! Oh! Oh, that, no, that is sick. If you can do that, if you can, like, take a wide wing from, like, space and do and just shoot them all, that, that would be cool. I want that to happen. Doesn't this just remind you of, like, the, um, Old Republic CGI trailer? Oh, and then, of course, you got the guy. You got Darth Vader. <laughs> we got a montage of, you know, oh my gosh, this is very cool. I hope you can actually you do that view, like you saw in the cockpit. But in fact, you got Sanko in the background there. Oh man, this reminds me of some game which I can't remember. Oh, that's like a new planet. Is that a new planet? I hope they have new planets we haven't seen before. But yeah, so that was really cool. That was really cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically that's more or less it. <laughs> it's a... Pretty damn cool trailer, obviously. A pretty damn cool game, I think. I mean, Battlefront, you know, uh, leave down in the comments actually what is your um, favorite uh, Star Wars game? Personally, I've got to say Battlefront 2. I've just, I've just got it. I mean, The Force Unleashed is very, very cool, as are a lot of other games. Uh, also, what's your favorite Lego Star Wars game? Because there's been so many Lego Star Wars games, you could even pick your, pick your favorite just out of those. So it's like, you know, but um, yeah, a very cool trailer. Um, and yeah, really. I think it's now just go on to breaking it down. Really? Let's go. All right, so let's get started. Of course, in the top we have the Star Show. I, I hope that's really a, a feature you can do. I'm not sure if you could do that in the um, first Battlefront or the second one. 
uh, I think you could do it in the second one where you can like take a starfighter or you know some sort of aerial vehicle and take it down to the planet from a space battle. I know you can do it on PSP, which is what I used to use. I didn't actually have like a well, I did have a major console, but I didn't get the game on a, a console, so I kind of had this little lesser version. It's kind of annoying, but I'm not sure if you could leave you down in the comments in the previous versions. Could you like take a starfighter or something, you know, down from like a space battle, like an actual space battle, is where you start, and then you take it down to like a uh, a ground battle. I really hope that's a thing. Also, I hope the fact that, um, like, you know, you can have updates on how things go. I know you just sort of have that, but sort of updates in a way, like they say, oh, the ground battle ain't going too well, or something like that. So you can, like, take some stuff like this down to help, and so like that. But not necessarily like mission type things, like an actual. I don't want something that's going to be the same every time. Like, I wanted to actually change when you play levels, you know, like the same level you play at different times, things will change. Sometimes, uh, things on the ground will go better or worse, you know, I, w I want that, that'd be really cool, but, um, so, so yeah, of course, we've got e uh, Ewoks, if you actually look here, you can see some of the Ewoks, um, running across the bridges, that's, that's pretty cool, we've got the trees in course, very tall trees in, in um, Endor, and of course, we've got speeders, very cool, and the whole thing starts, oh yeah, oh, um, sorry, you missed it, but I mean, I'll show you more later, that was Nub Nub, Nub Nub, I don't know, that's very cool. It reminds me a lot of Call of Duty, and obviously that shot pause with the um, Stormtrooper being shot. <laughs> that's a bit unfortunate, but um, yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. That you know, the, all that because I I like the extra effects as well, like the sparks and whatever coming off, and all these cool things. You know, you can see other people moving around him. It's not just a case of one guy falls down, kind of freezes, and like you know. You see, okay, yeah, this is a good point. Um, stop. Of course, we've got a female rebel. That's pretty cool. Not just have rebels with the standard phase. I think that's a female rebel. I don't know something about it. it makes it um, make me think of like a female rebel, but that's pretty cool. You know, to think like uh, I mean, by the way, just to clarify, stormtroopers are not clones. They are not all the same person. Something happened. You know, there's a twenty year gap. So yeah, but um, even so, stormtroopers, their helmets and faces are kind of all the same. You know, very blank. But with the rebels, you have you know, it's more or less a ragtag team, and they just find recruits wherever they can, so of course we've got one here, very cool. And you notice here, as also, uh, as they go into the log, you notice the scout trooper and the rebel were like ducking down with the um, speeder, you know, because I, I hope it's more like that, more interactive in one sense, I mean obviously it's a game so it's interactive, but like, in one sense, so like, if they go into the log or something, you know, they're not just like a stock image, you're holding on or whatever like that, you know, um, that, you know, they can duck down with the speeder, go around, all the stuff, you know. And they do sort of move with the environment depending on what's happening. So yeah. It's very cool to come across, you know. And you also see there, um sorry, pause it's kinda of blurry. But um you'll see there hiding behind the log you have a num num and the rebel person, you know, going over, that's pretty cool. And also if I try to go back a bit, hopefully it will work for him. Uh you saw there he was like shot off the speeder. So I hope that's a feature that can be done. I'm not sure if it will. I mean, I think to do that you'd have to have really good accuracy with a sniper rifle, but hopefully, you know, maybe someone should make a video of like the best sniper kills in Star Wars games, because we've already seen those best sniper kills in like Call of Duty or Battlefield or anything like that, but I want to see a best like sniper kill in Star Wars games. They're really cool. Yeah. And of course another shot there of Num Num. You want to see more of him. And of course the ATSD, very nice as we saw on Endor, quite a bit. And of course, you've got there the inflatable shield. That is very, very cool. Reminds me of Halo so much, as I've said before, you know, the way, well, just the way it's inflatable shield, effectively. Uh, and it seems like actually a pretty good design. I mean, there's so much, because also another thing I want to see in Battlefront that we have not seen is stuff we haven't seen before, like vehicles and these things. For example, uh, in 20, I don't know, 10 or no, before that, I don't know, they came, in Lego, they came out with a set of like, TIE Crawler. It was an expanded universe, probably for some other game. Uh, I think it was Empire at War, actually, but that's not the point. You know, and, and the stuff we didn't see in the three films, because the Star Wars universe, it's just that, it's a universe. And that's why I'm kind of annoyed that they cancelled the expanded universe, or so say it wasn't canon. That's annoying, but um, even so, so, there's so much stuff, logical stuff, they think, oh yeah, that's pretty cool to use. In fact, oh, I'm, actually I'm not going to say that, so I was going to say something about um, Rebel Season 2 that I saw in the trailer, but I won't say that. Um, but you know, the way that they use vehicles from other things, like, you know, the Rebels, they don't have the best equipment, they don't, they can't use... TIE Fighters or the most advanced things, they're more or less just using versions of ship from like the Clone Wars, you know, they're trying to modify themselves and the shield, you know, it, it seems like a practical thing the Rebels would use, it does seem correct for them, the way, you know, inflatable 
shield. It does seem a cool idea, very cool, something they'd use, and I really, really hope there's stuff like this in Battlefront. And of course you've got Num Num going up and blasting it in the face. Very cool. I love the way he just drops it down. And there's another shot of, oops, I missed it. Alright, another shot of Nub Nub. But, uh, and as the 8080 foot comes down, remember in the 20 second trailer before we saw that as well. The foot coming down, pretty cool. Also, one, a thing I want to talk about, you see this dodge is running with it. I hope that's another thing, like when you put down vehicles, like, you can have extra troops go with it or something. But, um, also another thing, you know, just this really has nothing to do with anything, but like, the, it seems a bit weird to have an AT-AT on Endor. We saw an f 6 and they're picking up the guys, but it's like, there are so many trees and it's so congested, it's like, why would you have such a big vehicle that can maneuver so difficultly? Why would you have that on a planet like this? But that's just a little thing that no one really cares about. And of course for the at, -AT. Well, the last thing guys, massive explosions, war, yada yada, <laughs> you know, that's really cool, really cool stuff. And of course, you got the Y wings. You all have noticed, by the way, that was the um, thing going Y wings inbound. Yeah, I really hope that's another thing as well. Because before, you may remember, uh, it notified you by saying like there was a drop down, like you know, it's, it, this text appeared in the corner saying, "Oh, this guy's been shot. This guy, whatever." Um, I really hope that's another thing as well, which we got in other games. I think Empire War also did this, where you had like an actual voiceover saying, "Okay, this guy," you know, because it's just a lot easier. Run out to read it, and it's, it's. I think it's a lot better. You know, it works a lot better with the styles thing, and of course, you've got the wire rings. I hope, and again, that's a really thing I hope they add is the fact you know you can take fighters and things from the battle and upper space and take them down. But also, I hope it affects things. I wouldn't be really like a full scale war. Like if you take a cruiser down, that means there's a cruiser less in space, so they may do worse. You know, something along those lines. I really want to you to really feel like you know you're making a difference. But also at the same time, I want to feel like I'm just one soldier. It's not like I want to be the main, 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 main guy. Well, it all depends on. Yet at the same time, I want to feel I am a guy. It, it's <laughs> my reasons I'll explain. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. If you can come down and just sort of bomb and help the guys out, we go. And of course, the same way the other way around with you know, if, if you want to go up and help there, then you can. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And of course, you got this. Very cool. I'm not sure if you'd be actually able to do this, like try to tend to other wounds, but who you can. That reminds me so much of the CGI trailer, doesn't it? It just does. Of course, you've got Darth Vader. Amazing. You've got the montage, you've got Hoth. All this cool stuff. That's from that like, trailer. And you see here, oops, I probably missed it, but um, we'll go back a bit. Oh, oh, I still missed it. Okay, and you saw it in the cockpit, basically. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you saw it in the cockpit. Um, I'm not sure there's going to be a view. I think that might have been a view. I'm not sure this game or another game. I've played a number of Star Wars games, but hopefully that is a view you can do. That would be really cool, especially if you can like alter certain things. If screens change and stuff as you're moving about, that would be really, really cool. I mean, I like the view, which actually is going to go here. You see, I'm, I don't mind that view. That's the sort of view we had in previous uh, Battlefronts. You know, it's not that bad of a view. It's easy to see the entire battle, but it's also... Um, you feel more in the game. You feel like you're much more part of like, actually driving the Starfighter or piloting it. Uh, if you're actually like, you see the cockpit and you can see what everyone else sees. Like, you can't see behind you as such. Starfighters can't see behind you, but like, you can sort of see it. Just, yeah, basically what I'm saying. You know, you feel like you're a proper pilot. Is is affecting what I'm saying here. So that's really cool. Also, by the way, if you notice, I, I'm not going to put it back, but um, yeah, so you have the X-Wings of the Tyvelos going through that canyon, which actually may be the same planet as this one you're seeing right now with Boba Fett. Um, I'm not sure that's Tatooine. I hope they bring in new planets. There'll be another thing clipping that in a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope they do bring in new planets, and I hope you can bring down Starfighters to said planets, and that's pretty cool. And of course, you've got Boba Fett. The Sancrawl in the background, actually, you've got a little battle that's happening over there. You've got a moist evaporator down there. <laughs> that's all pretty cool, but yeah. There was some um, stuff over there. And of course, got this. You notice, by the way, on the roof, so many TIE fighters strung up. You know, th 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 this is a full world. You know, you want to see every part of it. You don't, you don't really want to be the main guy, but at the same time, you want to be a guy. It's hard to, hard to explain. You know, it's very, very cool. And of course, I don't know what planet this is, but it looks pretty cool. And of course, you've got there the Millennium Falcon coming in. Very cool. Very cool, coming to blast those guys. I hope you can do that. I don't think you could do them Battlefront, you know, because it was much more. Oh yeah, you got your choice of X wings, whatever. But I really hope you can bring in these guys as like Malay Vulcan douche. I really hope you can like fly Star Destroyers as well, like just fly them, just like boom, boom, boom. And you can just judge where you know the cannons fire, and just this really, really cool stuff. You know, it's just, it's just a full world, really. 
It also reminds you, by the way, of um, the first episode 7 trailer, that bit where, you know, the Millennium Falcon's flying off. Uh, but yeah, so that's really cool. Available the 17th of November, and I will definitely be getting it. Whether I'll be doing a gameplay is a completely different matter, as I've said before, but hopefully I will. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, more or less, that is it then to my breakdown and reaction of the Star Wars Battlefront trailer. Overall, as I've said, a very good trailer. I am definitely hyped for it. I'm going to say, actually, I mean, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, I don't know how you couldn't have seen it, but if you haven't seen the episode, the second episode 7 trailer, uh, you know, there's a lot of good pits in it, including the Han and Chewie reveal at the end. That's a very major part of it. I, that, yeah, that, that, that sold it for me. You know, I really actually like this trailer more than the first trailer, but... I've got to say this Battlefront trailer, just because of how much hype it's had around it, just because of how good the previous games were, just because, you know, we haven't really known what's going to happen, is it, you know, it's going to be cancelled, it's going to come back, I kind of prefer this trailer, in one in one sense, just because the game itself, there's so much hype about it, but yeah, so I'll be definitely getting the game, whether we're doing gameplay or not is doesn't matter, uh, any networks, leave down in the comments, you know, contact me. Uh, also, my email is on the about page, and you can send me a personal message there, not many people know that, but yeah. Um... But yeah, more or less, that is more or less it then to this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe some point later today, uh, I'll be doing a breakdown and reaction to the Season 2 Rebels trailer. Very, very cool. Can't wait for that. <laughs> if I don't, though, that's probably because I just couldn't be bothered. But no, no, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope it wasn't too long. I can't tell, but I hope it wasn't. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, troops. Saturday. Wasn't this Saturday?